good through everything. Everything went smooth. Um, you know what helped a lot? They gave me a cocktail, a cocktail right before my surgery. And that really helped me a lot. I felt more happier to be here. <laughs> I want to just say that right now, everything is going good. My my EKG is uh, pretty good, as you guys can see. It's 106, my heart rate is 106, pretty good. Um, my throat is burning, my throat is killing me. They gotta put a breathing tube down my throat. Doing surgery, I felt like I was dreaming or something doing surgery. I was like, y'all woke me up out of my good sleep. <laughs> And that was the, uh, the main thing I was worried about was anesthesia. I was so scared to get put to sleep, but it wasn't so bad. I didn't realize I was asleep. Like he just did it. I was just out, I was just out. <laughs> I was out cold turkey. But thank y'all so much for all of the text messages, the voicemails, the DMs, um, for your words of encouragement and prayers. I felt the peace of God. I even felt you I was praying this morning. I woke up, I was scared, but I, I started to feel peace again. I said, somebody's praying for me. <laughs> and just know, I appreciate every prayer because I needed it in this time. And God was my strength. And God was in that emergency room. That's all you guys told me. That God's going to be in there. And God's presence going to be in there. And he was. I feel so at peace.
fix my hair. It's better than what it was. Mm. Not tight. I'm out of here, y'all. Gonna go. <laughs> Got my coat on. My IVs are out. I'm out. Peace. I forgot to mention, I've been here for over 12 hours, so I'm so ready to go. And my surgery lasted four hours, and I've been here since this morning, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get wheelchaired out, so I'll catch you later. I heard. at my mom's house i gotta stay here for a minute because i can't do any stairs for a minute because i can uh bleed out of the incisions they cut in my uh arteries or veins whatever so i gotta not do stairs for a minute but i'm okay um i've been having small episodes of afib off and on uh, since I've been here, I think it's, I mean, I know it's because my heart, I get adjusted to the surgery and it shouldn't last too long. It shouldn't uh, last a long time. Like I'm saying, like it shouldn't go for months or weeks or something like that. It just for the first few days, I think your heart, I get adjusted to it. 
but I do feel better. Every time I got to bed, though, I'm like lightheaded. I'm dizzy. I'm nauseated. <laughs> yeah, so I like to lay down because when I sit up, I just feel like I'm going to throw up. But thank y'all so much for your prayers, your calls, the DMs. I felt every last one of y'all prayers. I thank God that God had placed me on your mind to to pray for me and to encourage me and to uplift me. It just shows that God loves me, you know, and he loves you guys too, but it's just so amazing. I'm so outdone the amount of support I got from every last one of y'all, like, so amazing. My heart is filled with so much love. And it's crazy because this morning when I woke up, I was so nervous, y'all. I was so nervous. But like, when I got there at the hospital, um, I felt an overwhelming peace, peace about everything. I felt comfortable and I knew God was there, like he was there. <laughs> And also when my anesthesiologist gave me some, um, call it a cocktail <laughs> in my IV, and that helped a lot. So when they wheeled me back in the operation room, it was very, like, it was intense. Like, it had these big old flat screen monitors everywhere. Of course, like, it's a heart surgery, so they gotta have all these monitors, but I wasn't even scared, y'all. Like, first of all, I felt God, I felt peace. And that cocktail got me right. I was like, come on, y'all. Cut me up and get this thing over with. <laughs> I was just so, like, I was like, come on, come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I remember them um, sliding me over to the operation bed. And they started strapping me down. The last thing I heard was the nurse saying, um, are you going to put her to sleep? Because we don't like to, uh, to strap her down if she's awake. The thing I know, I heard the anesthesiologist was like, all right, Kara. Then I was out. <laughs> they woke me up. I had a bad sore throat. God, dog, the sore throat was bad. They put a breathing tube down my throat. And the and first thing I said was, I was having sweet dreams. <laughs> Y'all woke me up out of my sweet dreams. After that, <clears throat> it just, I was in recovery. And um, then we went back to my room. They check my incisions, making sure I'm not bleeding out of them. And the nurse had to uh, have me walk four times. So, so in those clips y'all seen, I had to walk four times to make sure my incisions don't bleed out, you know, like as I'm walking. Um, so I can come back home, you know, make sure everything is safe. And they took my uh, blood pressure. They took <laughs> my vitals. Uh, my EKG was really good. And everything was was good now I feel my heart tripping out because it's like it's probably in shock it is in shock still but um I just want to say thank y'all so much for your prayers like God is so good God is so it's tripping out now see my heart see this right here is probably y'all fault because I'm 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 like <laughs> I don't blame y'all for this time because See, my heart is just full with joy. My heart can't handle it. <laughs> but God is so good that he promised me that he would be there in the operating room. And he was there. I felt his love and peace. And God keeps his promises. This is only the beginning, y'all. Only the beginning. For me. Okay? Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. This is going to ignite something in me. Y'all are going to be my witnesses. Like, this is going to ignite something in me. And I'm super excited for what God is doing in my life. I'm super excited for my health to come back. It's going to come back. I mean, it is coming back. And it's, I'm super excited for my body to be healed. Like, God is so great. Like... I can't do anything else but praise him. Like, it was only him. Only him. 
only, only him. And I'm super grateful. I was in search for four hours. And I felt every last prayer. Um, <clears throat> my throat still hurts, but um, everything worked out, y'all. It was nothing but y'all. Like, I just pray that God continue to bless y'all for every for everyone who prayed for me. I pray that God blesses y'all, like beyond beyond what we can ask or think, what you can ask or think. I pray that God blesses y'all for sacrificing your time, your time to pray for little old me. <laughs> um. I just pray God just heal everyone who sacrificed their time. Heal them, God, for whatever they are dealing with in their family life, health-wise, whatever uh, they are dealing with internally, spiritually. I pray that you bring a healing on them the same way they pray healing on me. I pray that you heal them from their head all the way down to their toes, God. I just pray a healing, whatever they are dealing with in secret. Heal them right now in the name of Jesus. Same healing did on me. God, you are no respecter of person. Do the same thing for them in Jesus' name. And cover them with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Um, God bless y'all. I hope y'all enjoy watching my uh, surgery journey. And um, I love y'all so much. Peace. <laughs>